Today we're going to be measuring for a Ortho Innovations Custom Elbow Mackie Splint. Since this splint is a custom measurement, we will be doing six measurements. We'll do a circumference and a medial lateral proximally at the elbow joint and distally at the wrist. Because this brace is a custom brace, uh, you will need to specify how long you want your frame arms proximally and distally. If there is no length specification, uh, Ortho Innovations will just standard make them seven inches. What we, uh, what we want though is just to make sure that the brace is long enough so it doesn't um, impinge in the axilla. And distally on the forearm we want it long enough just so it won't impinge when the patient flexes or extends the wrist. So for our first measurement, uh, measure A, we're going to take a circumference. We're going to take a circumference on the, on the humerus at the level of where you want the height of your frame to be. We will take that circumference. Once we have that circumference at that same level, we're going to take a medial lateral measurement. Next, for measurement B, we're going to do a circumference at the elbow joint. Take that circumference, making sure again our tape is snug and flush on the skin. And then we're also going to take a medial lateral measurement of the elbow as well. Level or measurement C is going to be a circumference uh, distally on the forearm at the level again where you want the frame to end. And you'll take that circumference and at that same level we will do a medial lateral measurement as well. Again, remember, since the elbow brace, since this is a custom elbow orthosis, if you do not specify how long you want your your humeral and your forearm uh, arms of the brace, Ortho Innovations will make it standard seven inches, and we want them long enough, approximately, so it doesn't impinge on the axilla.